In this video, we're gonna talk about technical difficulties with your website. Since WordPress 5, I believe, has come out, WordPress now gives you a box that says, this site is experiencing technical difficulties. If you've seen that, it's because something has went wrong in your website. Now I saw this posted on Facebook and I wanted to make a video about it because there was like 80 comments of people telling them to disable plugins and what was the last thing you installed and blah, 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 you know, whatever. So it might not be the last plugin that you installed that may be causing the issue. You may have written some code that's caused the issue. You may have installed a plugin, but that plugin may not be the issue. It may have been another plugin that just so happens to conflict with the current plugin that you've just installed. Or WordPress may have updated and caused your site to say that. So whatever and however you've had that issue and you've found this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it and save you a lot of time and not have to go through all of that trouble. All right, so let's get started. Here on our ideapro.io website, it's our site that we just do testing on and we throw a bunch of stuff on and show some videos and stuff like that. Um, we've got some text here on the front page and just kind of a welcome to ideapro.io here. And what I wanna do is I wanna to go to the code and this is just the functions.php page where we just do testing for this site here. But I wanna show you really quickly how easy it is to break your website. We're gonna add just a couple of dots here at the top, and then we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna refresh this page. Now, this is the error that you're getting. The site is experiencing technical difficulties. Now, what happens is, is if any code is wrong, WordPress used to just not load, depending on the type of server that you were on, it would just not load, it would just be a white blank page. Since 5.0, they've come out with this that gives you the idea that there's something wrong by saying this site is experiencing technical difficulties. Now, the quick and easy way to fix this or find the solution for this is to not deactivate plugins, not deactivate themes and reactivate one of the default themes that come with WordPress. It's simply to open up a file in an editor if you have access to the root of the website. There's a file in there called wp-config.php. And somewhere toward the bottom of the page, you have this line of code here that says define WP debug. And typically by default, it's set to false. So by turning this to true and saving the file, now we can go back to our page that says the site is experiencing technical difficulties and refresh it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna tell us the exact file that has the issue. There's syntax error, unexpected, you know, and then it's gonna give you expecting end of file, in functions, you know, themes, idea pro functions.php on line three. So it's gonna tell you the exact file and where that problem is. Now, if it's a theme and you don't understand code, you can just deactivate that theme and activate one of the, um, one of the default themes with WordPress. If it's a plugin, you can deactivate that plugin or delete that plugin um, until you can figure out a solution for it. If you're a developer, you should be able to understand how to debug this or how to cipher this a little bit. And then you can go in and go, okay, well, let's look at functions literally on line three. It says line three, and you can kind of figure out what's going wrong. Like, oh yeah, I was typing and accidentally at the, at the end of this line, I accidentally hit the period instead of the return. And that happens sometimes I hit, you know, a single quote or something like that as I'm typing really, really fast. And this tells me right away what's wrong with it. So we have take this out, we save it. Whoops, we're gonna take that one out too. We save it, come back here, and the site's working again. So if you're on a shared hosting, you might not have access to the WP config file. If you don't, you'll have to ask your hosting company to turn that on so that you can see the debugging. You, I always keep debugging on until I am done editing a website or even when I go in to make changes on a website because it gives you any notice of anything that's going wrong on the site. Let me know in the comments if you found this video useful. 
please click the like button and remember to subscribe. I'm going to start doing a lot more videos on WordPress and even doing a tutorial on beginning PHP all the way through to working with WordPress in an advanced mode. So look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.